at 13 years old, I remember, uh, I remember sitting in a movie theater and, uh, and, and looking up at the screen, and I remember it was Dustin Hoffman, and uh, a very young Dustin Hoffman, and I just, I just knew that's what I wanted to do with my life. And, and so you begin to take steps toward it. I entered college as a drama major, performing arts major. Uh, oddly enough, graduated with a degree in economics, and then I just kind of liked school so much, I, I, I decided to go to graduate school and uh, went to law school, not because I wanted to be a lawyer, but I just had some sense of, well, I'll, I'll at least graduate with something practical, and uh, graduated with that degree, and, uh, and then uh, actually practiced law for a couple years. And I'll never forget one time going to the movies. And in my memory, the movie was Reds with Warren Beatty. And, uh, and I took a date, and, and after the movie, we sat down together. And, and I'm telling her, you know, if I was going to make that movie, I would have done this, and I would have done that. And, and I'll never forget the girl. She looked at me, and she said, you know, Bruce, she said, you've got good ideas. That sparked me reentering uh, my original love professionally. Um, and, uh, and I began the journey of... Uh, taking steps toward becoming a professional actor, which just means taking classes and, uh, and establishing contacts just like any other business. Um, you know, zoom forward to, uh, to several years later, and, uh, you know, that step took me, you know, off, off cliff edges of poverty. Uh, I don't care what you see on entertainment tonight. It's no, no walk on golden highways up there. Uh, for every uh, Brad Pitt, there's 600,000 guys that can't find a job. And, uh, you know, so I went through the ups and downs and the ups and downs. And I was slowly climbing the ladder. And then one day, um, it all got yanked out from under me, just through the circumstances of an actor's life. And in the pit of that, I realized I needed Jesus. I realized that all the fun and all the dreams and everything I built everything on could all be yanked away from me in the blink of an eye. And there was only one thing, forgive me for that, uh, that will, quote, never leave me or forsake me, and that was him. And I'll never forget it. Uh, there's a hill overlooking Universal Studios, and my very first job as a professional actor was at Universal Studios. And I used to go up, it's kind of like a park, and it was very quiet. And I used to go up there to spend quiet time, even before I knew the Lord, kind of collect my thoughts. And I remember being up there one day, and I'm looking down at Universal Studios, and I'm looking up at the sky, and it was like making a decision who was going to be my God. And I got right down on my knees in the dirt there, and I remember I just lifted my hands, and I just said, Jesus, you got to save me, man. And, uh, and the rest is history. Uh, yeah, you ask me what I am. That's a long answer to a very short question. I'm a sinner saved by His grace.